and welcome to Fuel to My Love Fire, a safe space on the internet where I read old classics and gather retro styled indie and imperfect things and talk about them. So today I have a double whammy for you. I would like to talk about an indie imperfect thing and basically that is Darling. Now I'm going to be splitting up my little um sharing session about darling into three parts the first part is going to be the character design the second part is going to be the game itself and then the third part is going to be the music the soundtrack um but instead of like boring you guys by telling you all of my hopes and my fears and my experiences in every single video. I'm just going to say all of it in this one and then in the other parts you can just enjoy the different things that I created on their own. Now, um, the thing about the game is that I created it in this platform called Twine and I'm not very well versed with open source things. I don't know HTML aside from what I glean off the internet and so I really tried my very best with the very limited basic HTML that I know to create something that I was hoping would be fun and I do feel that it's kind of staccato because I kind of don't know how to make a lot of elements smooth however I think that's what I love about all these subgenres they're imperfect they're not striving to be like some big brand or some mass produced, you know, enterprise. And so this tiny little game that I created was something that I did over three days. And there's lots of things that are kind of buggy, but I hope that if you're looking for something and you just want to be entertained for about five minutes, this will be able to feed that tiny little time that you just need to waste <laughs> now um i actually do feel like there's a wonderful thing to be had by creating your own text-based game because i love to use different platforms i've used fanfiction.net i've used plastic i've used wattpad and so on and the one thing that twine i think really enabled me to do is to give the 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 option of alternative endings and of creating an interactive game that is also a story and for me i love stories i love writing so if you want to create like an interactive story but you don't have money to pay for expensive equipment or you don't have money to pay for uh, people to program things for you or even for lessons to go and learn how to do all these special effects and stuff you know then twine i think is a really great way to start just to like stretch your fingers and explore however there is a lot of html that you have to learn but they do have a twine cookbook which has extensive information to tell you how to do like passages and how to do linking and how to make your story flow nicely and how to do timed and delays so if you're looking for all of those things do check out twine the cons at the moment i feel are inserting images and adding audio now i actually created i think seven or eight tracks and I was so excited because I had no idea that it's so difficult to input audio into a Twine game. I went out of my way to create so many different sound effects. I, I even have like a voice for the deceiver and a voice for XXX Darling. And I couldn't use any of that <laughs> because the only thing I can do at the moment is to loop an audio for the whole game. So if you have any advice to for me about how to add audio better in twine please let me know in the comment section below i would really appreciate it and also for images 
I really wanted to be able to overlay images or create like backgrounds so the images that you see I actually wanted it to fill the whole entire uh, game space and so have Darling appear in the front like you know foreground background kind of thing going on but I don't know how to make heads or tails of that work I don't even know if it's a possibility so if you know if you know how to do this my goodness please let me know I would love to complete the game in such a way that I feel really happy with it but you know what as of now I'm quite pleased with the result I do feel like the story was simple but it kind of served its purpose and the point of it was really just to be an outlet for all this weird core energy that I have just bubbling up inside me and to create something fun and unique that is weird core related so yeah, that is my opinion and my take on using Twine to create the game and the experience I had with uh, making Darling from scratch. Now, I do hope that you're as excited as I am to see the game. So if you are, it's in the link in the description below. And I have a whole video ready for you if you would just like to see me play through the game myself. And also, I have the full original soundtrack available to listen on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. That's also in the description below. And I'm sure, I think, at least before or after this video, I'll be releasing it as well on this channel so you can listen to your heart's delight to some weird chord that I, I, I made originally for your listening ears. If it can't be in the game, at least it can be in your eardrums. <laughs> Alright, and with that, I would like to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for coming here and listening to my nonsense and watching me talk about a text-based game that I created on the internet. And as always, may days be magical, and I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye!